Well, after a video of an amateur hockey game between Amherst and Chictawaga surfaced with racial slurs made against an African-American player, the player's father wanted that matter investigated. And for weeks, nothing was done. And now a top official with the league has resigned. And good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing has the latest on one of the most read stories on WGRZ.com. It's not what you would expect or should expect. An African-American hockey player called a monkey during a January game that was videotaped. Rashawn Brown Hall plays for Amherst. The slurs came from Chictawaga Warriors players. The player's father wanted the matter addressed. David Bronstein, the regional president of the Amateur Hockey League, said the investigation was ongoing and wouldn't be done before the playoffs. Now he has resigned. Mr. Bronstein's resignation is unfortunate. Because he sent more than one email. Our intent was to make sure that action was taken um, and that this won't occur again, right? Make sure that there are processes and procedures set up so that a thorough investigation can take place. But the intent, again, was never to get the games canceled. It was to hold the Chictawaga players accountable for what occurred. Two players and an assistant coach with the Chictawaga Warriors 18 and under team were suspended last week. If you had not pressed this and said, we need an answer, what are you Correct. doing about this? You can't make monkey sounds and, make, and call an African-American player in hockey a racial slur Correct. and do nothing. And do nothing and do nothing. My fear is that um, it would have been swept under the rug. He says it should be a lesson for USA Hockey. You have to develop some sort of timeline, procedure, process, so that when this happens again, there's a clear outline of what needs to take place. Because my son is not the last young man of color that's going to play hockey. Dr. Brown Hall and Bronstein spoke today. He also received an email from the now resigned hockey official. He apologized for his inaction and um, it was a very sincere email. NHL player and Buffalo native Justin Bailey was upset by this and he reached out and plans to speak with Roshan. Meanwhile, the final game for the seniors never happened. I hope there may be some way to still reschedule the playoffs. I, I hope that that can occur. And Dr. Brown Hall says he's satisfied that action was taken, but wishes it was earlier so the games didn't have to be canceled. His message to the Chictawaga players and their parents is that we live in a diverse world and the slurs are not acceptable. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.